Hey there, Deborah Donaldson here, and in today's video, I'm going to be talking about how to turn your passion into your online business in seven easy steps. If you are new to my channel, Success with Deborah D, uh, I cover um, affiliate products, tools, software, provide reviews, and I also provide some mindset tips to help you grow your business online. So let's get started. Okay, let's get started. How do you turn your passion into an online business in seven easy steps? Well, step number one is to discover your passion. Um, what are your hobbies? What unique skills do you have? Some people say, what's your superpower? Uh, when people ask for help, do they turn to you for help? And if so, what are they usually asking help about? What can you, if you were to go to a party, what could you talk about for half an hour without worrying about what you're going to say next? Um, the point is to find something that you really love and that you're excited about so that you can create content consistently. This is something that you're going to be spending a lot of time on. So you want to make sure it is definitely something that you're interested in. Otherwise, you're going to dread it. You'll start procrastinating and then content's not going to get created and you're not going to grow your business. So number one is discover your passion. Number two is to determine the market and the potential. So what I like to do is go to Google Keyword Planner and I put a link here uh, in this uh, document. I'll be putting a link to this in the description below so you can go back and refer to it. Um, but you can type in your niche idea, whether it's woodworking or uh, diet for diabetics or something like that. and click uh, get search ideas and Google will tell you by looking at that page what people are looking for how many people are looking for the topic that you entered and it'll also give you suggestions on other ideas that um, also might good might be a good topic for uh, content so before you go about building your business, uh, make sure that your idea, your niche is something that people are actually searching for. And this is super important, especially if you're trying to uh, make a business out of it um, and create income. If you're just doing this just because and you don't really care about who sees it and whether or not you're making an income, uh, well, number one, it wouldn't really be a business, it would be a hobby. And number two, uh, if you're creating content about stuff that no one cares about, no one's going to find it. So, and then you really don't have a business. So make sure your niche is something that people are searching for and uh, that there's enough volume to, um, to uh, really hold up your business. Okay, so the next one, number three, is to create your avatar. And I have people ask me, well, what exactly is an avatar? Well, an avatar is a single person that re represents who your ideal customer is. Is it a man? Is it a woman? Uh, you know, what's the age? You know, is are they a 35-year-old business um, employee? Uh, are they an entrepreneur? So what you do is you create your um ideal customer and actually uh, Russell Brunson in his book dot com secrets talks about actually going online and finding a picture um, naming your avatar and then finding a picture that you put up on the wall and that's the person you're talking to when you're creating content so if you uh, don't have it I highly recommend dot com secrets by uh, Russell Brunson uh, it has really opened my eyes to uh, creating an avatar and figuring out who my target market is. Um, then the next thing is, you know, you've figured out who you're trying to market to. Well, where are they spending their time? Uh, where do they hang out? What kinds of things do they like to do? Uh, I already mentioned the age. Uh, are they male or female? It, um, you know, if they've got problems, what are their biggest problems? Are they an entrepreneur that's struggling? Uh, is this something uh, that you can create a uh, something of value that's going to solve this problem and uh, you want to solve the problem and relate it so you're providing a solution to their problem uh, if you need more help with this like I said I mentioned dot com secrets by Russell Brunson uh, I put a link here 
um, <clears throat> especially page, um, let's see here, uh, page 14 to, to 19 really talks about uh, finding your ideal customer and uh, how to determine where they hang out. So uh, 15 to 19, I had that right there. Okay, and then the next thing is to build a following. And typically the best place to do this is on social media. So it can be things like Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, LinkedIn, um, TikTok, wherever it is that you're comfortable. Some people really don't like doing video and so they might uh, do things like Twitter or Instagram, uh, maybe just doing more Facebook posts. But you've got to uh, find a way that you can connect with your ideal customer and provide value, so help, help them solve their problems. Uh, and in saying this, do not spam your link out there. So the first thing is to really get to know them. Do you honestly feel that the product that you have is going to help them, it's going to help them help to solve their problem? Show a real interest in them and who they are, what they're doing. So what you're trying to do is really build a relationship with these people because people don't buy um, just from a link. They buy or purchase from people that they know, like, and trust. And the way to get them to know, like, and trust you is to actually uh, care about them as people and try to help them do better. Uh, Zig Ziglar says you get what you want in this life by helping more people get what they want. Okay, so the next step after building a following is to uh, build your email list of prospective buyers. So again, a lot of people don't buy the first time they see something. Sometimes they need more information. Sometimes they need to get to know you. And the best way to do this is to get their email. And the best way to get their email is to deliver valuable content. Um, for example, a free PDF, a giveaway, something that that people are willing to exchange their email address for. Uh, once you get that, get that email address, that customer into your autoresponder, which is basically your database, then you can follow up with emails that are gonna help them provide more information, newsletters, all that kind of stuff. And there's three, well, one, four main uh, softwares you can use uh, for, well, actually there's a lot more than that, but the four that I am familiar with uh, for building your funnels and lead capture pages are uh, ClickBank Builder, ClickFunnels, GrooveFunnels, and Thrive Themes. So Thrive Themes works really well if you are a blogger. You've got unlimited pages and funnels that you can do. GrooveFunnels is currently free, um, and you can set up three uh, pages for your funnel to uh, link to ClickBank products and create your opt-in. ClickFunnels has a 14-day free trial, uh, and then after that, it's $97 a month. And then ClickBank Builder, if you sign up for uh, ClickBank University and ClickBank Builder, uh, you can have unlimited funnels, and it is uh, actually quite a bit cheaper than ClickFunnels. I did a review video uh, comparing the two a little while ago. Uh, I'll put a link to that um, up above, so and also at the end. Um, so once you follow up with regular emails, this is how you, what they say, monetize your list because people are interested in you and what you have to say. Um, even though they may not like one product, they might like another product that you are promoting. So it's a way to uh, follow up with your customers and provide them with tools, services, software uh, that are going to really help them out and help, help solve their problem. So you built your um, email list, and then the next thing is to monetize your audience. And so I talked about promoting different products. Well, the place to do that is the ClickBank Marketplace. ClickBank um, is free to join. You just use your email address and set up an account. Uh, there's no charge for that. And in the Marketplace, you'll see that there are um, a ton of niches to look into. So your niche is probably in there with different products to promote. Um, and a lot of times uh, finding a product on there as an affiliate, you can be paid up to 75% uh, to promote this product to your audience. 
So it's a way that you can promote other products to your group. Um, typically look for a gravity of 10 or higher, which indicates that uh, different affiliates who are promoting this product are actually making sales regularly with it. And then with uh, ClickBank itself, um, the other thing to look for is whether there is a rebilling commission because that means that this person is being charged monthly for a product, which would then mean that you can grow a recurring affiliate commission. This is what really gives your check some stability. Um, just as an affiliate, you know, your income can go up and down depending on what you're prom promoting. But if you have a number of affiliate products with recur recurring commissions, your baseline income will be pretty level, so something that you can count on. So it's always good to look for affiliate products that have a recurring income. Uh, one of the ones that I mentioned is ClickFunnels. They have a recurring program and uh, a very strong affiliate program. Um, so you may want to look into that. So like I said, the next step is to monetize your audience. And then uh, after that, uh, you basically scale your profits. And there are two ways to scale is number one, to get more customers. And number two is to make more money per customer. So the way to get more customers, you can get into, you know, once you start having an income coming in, you can get into paid advertising, Google ads, Facebook ads, any kind of paid advertising uh, you can do. Uh, YouTube videos, you can do uh, free promotions, any way that you can think of to get more customers into your autoresponder. And then, uh, then the goal is to make more money per customer. Um, one way that you can do that is to develop your own affiliate product uh, and then have affiliates promote for you. And so then that brings in a whole different level of commissions for you. And you would get to keep 100% of the profits. So you can create uh, sales pages, membership sites uh, with tools like uh, Kajabi, which I personally haven't used, uh, ClickFunnels for sure, and also Click ClickBank Builder, which is set up to work with ClickBank products. So if you are a beginner and um, want something that integrates really easily, probably the ClickBank Builder would be the ideal way to go with this. So uh, I hope you found this to be beneficial and uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel, click that uh, notification bell, and I will see you on the next video.